Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to write a check in QuickBooks Desktop. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. So in this video, I want to walk through how you will uh, write a check in QuickBooks Desktop. There are a couple of different scenarios where you may have to do this. Uh, it could be that a handwritten check was uh, done outside of QuickBooks. And now you need to report that in QuickBooks. It could be that you are paying bills and you are going to print checks out of QuickBooks. But what we're going to focus on in this video is really the basics of how to go in and write a check in QuickBooks. All right. So you'll want to look at my other videos uh, or the training tutorials on my website on all the different scenarios. So there's just a number of different ways that you could handwrite a check or write a check in QuickBooks Desktop, depending on your situation. And in this video, we're going to go through some of the basics. I want to show you what it looks like. All right. So the main thing in QuickBooks Desktop is uh, forms and forms are a way to make it easier to understand and enter information. It makes it look like everyday type forms. So when you go to write a check in QuickBooks, Okay, we're going to click here, write checks. And here's what I mean by a form. A form looks just like a regular check. And so when you go to enter information, you're entering it just like you would be writing a check. So it, it's designed to make it easier to enter information. All right, so if you're writing a check in QuickBooks, first of all, what you're going to do, you've got to decide, are you going to print this later? Or is this a handwritten check? that was written outside of QuickBooks that you're just recording now. So if you're not going to print out of QuickBooks, you want to leave this unchecked. If you are going to print this out of QuickBooks, you're going to check this. In this video, we're going to assume that this was a check already written, handwritten, and now we need to record it in QuickBooks. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to pay to the order of. All right, so you got to choose who this was written to. We're going to say this was written to Cal Telephone. Now, if you get this uh, box that shows up here, this means that a bill was already entered for this company. And do you want to actually pay one of those bills? So if you are paying a bill, so in this example, let's say that we're paying this uh, bill that was due January 14th, 2024 and there's a bill in QuickBooks, you want to go to pay bills. All right, this is very, very important. You want to make sure that you go here and go to pay bills, uh, because if you handwrite a check and you don't apply it to a bill that you're paying, you will have this expense in your books twice. So let's assume that we are not paying one of these bills and we are going to write our check. All right, so we go to pay to the order, order of Cal Telephone. We'll say that this was some kind of charge that we had for $50 and it's going to pre-populate all the information, the name, the address, uh, the date. If you need to change the date, you can change it here. And this is very important right here. The number, check number. You want to make sure that if you are handwriting a check, that this corresponds to what the check number is that you hand wrote. So let's say that this is 5584. And so we've got our check number. And another very important thing is you want to make sure that it's coming out of the right checking account. So if there are multiple checking accounts, just make sure that you are writing this check out of the right account. Now, one of the final things down here, at least with some of the basics, is you want to make sure it goes to the right account. So the account is where it's going to classify this check in your accounting records. So Cal Telephone typically is going to be a telephone expense. So we're going to choose this account, but it, if it is some other account, of course, you're going to scroll and look for what account this is and choose the appropriate account. We're going to say it's telephone. If you want to type in a memo here or here, you can definitely do this. This memo will print on the check uh, if you are printing from QuickBooks. And this memo is going to be an internal memo that you can choose. Now you get into a little bit more advanced functions within QuickBooks. If you are assigning this to a job and you want to bill it to that customer. And if you use class tracking, you're going to fill that in over here. 
Now, I do cover those in some other videos, especially in our training on the website. Uh, we do cover this most definitely. But these are the basics for how to write a check in QuickBooks Desktop. QuickBooks makes it very simple to do. There are some of these basics, of course, like who it's to, uh, the amount, the check number, and the checking account, as well as the account. All right. And then what you're going to do finally, if you're going to write another one, you click Save and New. If this is uh, a check that uh, is going to be just one time, you're just entering this in QuickBooks, Save and Close. If you have class tra tracking set up, these are items not assigned to classes. Okay, you can save anyway or cancel and then assign a class. We're going to say Save Anyway. And we have recorded and written a check in QuickBooks Desktop. Any questions, comments whatsoever, feel free to leave them below. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University, show you everything from start to finish on how to use QuickBooks to its fullest extent to run your business better and really understand what's going on there. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.